We're looking for water. Oh my god! Hey, we're Will and Lisa, two empty nesters looking for new adventures. In 2020, we sold our house and quit our full-time jobs to spend less time working and more time trying out new things. In 2021, we built out a Ford camper van and visited nine states with our dog, Teddy. In 2022, we walked the Camino de Santiago. And in 2023, after spending the winter in the Pacific Northwest, we're on to Europe for the next adventure. If you missed our last video, we're hiking 100 miles around the Isle of Man. There goes our, <laughs> our hosts. Stuart dropped us off for the day two walk. Would you like to come in, sir? Is this the kissing gate? I, I think we missed the kissing gate. No, I think that because I've, I've heard them refer to as the book they've referred to it a couple times. I assume the kissing gate was like this. Oh, they call this a kissing That's what gate? I'm guessing. Because oh. I've seen that a couple times. So are we this way or are we this way? That's the question. I think they said there were, I think if this is the part I was One, just reading, there's two paths. Two. I think this is for if you're biking. And that's as if you're walking. Why do they show a person walking that way? <laughs> you said biking. Let's see. Where is that? Let me find that piece. It's so quiet now. Follows the course of the main road and turns. Okay, so we are going to go left when we get to the fork up this way after the Craig. Or whatever, however you say that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Today we're starting off with an ascent up to the second highest peak of the island. On this ascent, the trail was less of a trail and more of a trench. According to our book, the peak was topped off with an ancient burial mound. We're heading for the gap in the wall down this steep hillside. Highest peak on the walk finished. High five. Good job. Strong work, Lisa. Okay, all of these, when we're going past all of these yellow blossoms, they all smell like, I don't know, something between like coconut lotion or cocoa butter lotion i don't know why i don't know what kind of plant they are but they're also the ones with the thorns so don't get your nose too close don't get, yeah don't get your nose too close <laughs> but it smells lovely the whole way trail we've only run into an occasional day hiker or jogger. We pretty much have the trail to ourselves. Our walk today was only going to include a small parish that had no businesses and very little resources. We realized we were probably going to run out of water. We're looking for water so we're going to see these people at the church will give us water and they have a soup stop. I don't know what that means. Maybe they have water. All right, we just had a very lovely lunch. Not only did we get water, 
They invited us in for soup day and we had soup and bread and cakes and coffee and tea <laughs> and lovely conversation. That was a nice surprise. They only do this once a month, one Wednesday a month. And we just happened to show up the Wednesday they do it, which was like, how, how perfect is that? <laughs> I can't believe you didn't put stuff on your arms. <laughs> oh gosh, this is like really overgrown and it's all that thorny stuff. Let's see. My jacket on a pillow. Ah. Shisa. Am I out yet? Ah. Okay. Despite the thorny bushes, our second day on the trail had some pretty good luck and really great views. From way up here, everything looks so tiny and, and Mr. Rogers' neighborhood-y, don't you think? <laughs> My socks aren't dry. I washed them last night. Nothing is dry that I washed. Everything's damp. There's not even a hair dryer in here. And that, that thing, I don't know how to make it come on so I can get my stuff dry. Way, 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 way. You're so lucky. <laughs> so lucky to be here right now. So we're on day three. We heard it might rain today. We got potentially 14 miles to go. See you later, Peel. We did find mud. Even though we're walking on a public footpath, we do end up going through quite a few people's sheep pastures and farms.
And today we ran into the cutest lambs. Oh my gosh! You're so, so cute! Yeah. This one jumped uh, under the fence to follow us. Yeah, you can't go there. I don't know what to do. No, no, let's just close this behind us. Okay. There. There you go. You head home now. Oh, yeah. Hopefully you know where you live. we saw the beach, we decided we had to put our feet into the cold Irish sea. As we walked around, we saw how they were setting up for the TT, a large motorcycle race that the Isle of Man is known for. It happens every year and was scheduled to be just after we finished our walk. We headed to our B&B after finishing another 14 miles. 